Hello there, this is Marlene Dinarius here from Latinum and this is an episode of Mi Fa Tota Musica. We are looking at Woodman's textbook on the English system of solfeggio. This is the solfeggio of Guido in the English system. And we are also going to be studying the Neapolitan system, which is the main goal here. What's interesting about this particular lesson is that the English system for these particular syllables and the Neapolitan syllable uh, system are in agreement. So before we begin, let us run quickly over the structure of the two hexachords that we are using. Ut, starting on C in this case, Ut, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Ut, that is the natural hexachord on C, and the hard hexachord on G, Ut, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Ut, and then we mutate from the one into the other, we modulate from the one hexachord into the other hexachord, giving us a compound scale, which is at the top of your image, starting with ut, which we will call fa. Fa, re, mi, fa, sol, re, mi, fa, sol, la, and on the way down, la, sol, fa, mi, la, sol, fa, mi, re, fa. Now the peculiarity of the English system is that the way down and the way up are sung the same way, whereas in a Neapolitan system on the way up, we have a different syllable sequence to the way down. So there was a simplification that took place in England sometime uh, probably in the 14th or 15th centuries, uh, certainly by the 16th and uh, the, uh, the, by the 1500s, 1600s, the English system was in use in the form that is in all the English textbooks and the Neapolitan system is slightly different. So let's have a look at what we have here, starting on C here. C sol fa ut, ut, singing ut, or fa. Fa, re, mi, fa, sol, re, mi, fa, sol, la. So we have fa, and we have sol, and we have fa. Now starting from the upper fa, fa, mi, la, sol, so fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol. I'm going to just use two fingers so you can see what's going on here. Fa, sol, or one octave down. Fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa. So the first section is just fa sol, fa sol 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 fa sol. And then the second part of the exercise, going downwards, descending fa sol fa fa sol fa or an octave up fa sol fa. It doesn't matter if you can't sing. This system was taught without singing in the beginning. We are told in the textbooks um, of Woodman, he recalls that in the great cathedrals of England, for the first couple of years, the choir boys would just say the syllables. And the same thing happened in the um, academies in Naples. So this would have been, it seems, a universal custom that when the young boys, invariably boys, but sometimes girls, were being taught to sing in the choirs. In the beginning, they started off just saying the syllables uh, for whatever reason, maybe because the voices were not yet mature, maybe because of the immense number of hours required of training. Uh, the choir masters didn't want to hurt the boys' voices just on repetition of this kind of thing. But if you can sing, then by all means sing. And even if you can't, well, if there's no one there to annoy, sing away. Um, my voice sometimes is good and sometimes it's absolutely awful. So sometimes I sing, sometimes I don't, often not in tune. Fa, sol, fa, fa, sol, fa, fa, sol, fa, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, fa, 
So start at the beginning. Fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol. With a little et cetera there. Fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol. And then the next step. Fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa. Fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa. Fa, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, fa. And then without me saying anything. So that's that for this little lesson.